Hello there. Welcome back to Grandma Ray Don't Play and I'm Rachel. So I want to show you how to make some cranberry cornbread. Yes, cranberry cornbread. Okay, so we're going to be doctoring it up with some sour cream and some canned milk and egg and all that good stuff. Okay? Okay, so if you like it, give it a thumbs up. Share the video. Subscribe if this is your first time on my channel. Let's get started. Okay. Okay. I have a half a cup. It's heaping half a cup. In other words, it can be running over. Of dried cranberries. Let me show you them. Dried cranberries. Okay. And you're going to put them in a bowl and pour hot water over them and let them sit for about five minutes. Every now and then just go and do this until they get soft. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. So I have the hot water on them. And they will soften up in about five minutes. Okay, so we're going to let that sit over there. Meanwhile, we're going to be using a box of Jiffy Corn Muffin Mix. Okay? Or you can make yours from scratch if you like. I do have a um, video on my channel that shows you how to make cornbread from scratch. But today we're going to be using Jiffy Muffin Mix. Okay, so that's one box. The box is 8.5 ounces. Okay, so now I'm going to break this egg. Make sure you can see. Yep. Yeah. I'm going to put the egg in. After I beat it up. I always like to beat my egg up first. And then pour it in slowly. And just in case you have a shell there, you'll be able to see it and catch it before you pour it all the way in. You go slow, the shell will lay right on the bottom and you can catch it. Okay, I don't have a shell, so I'm good. Now, I have some sour cream. stir it up and get it all incorporated there we go okay I still have my same half cup measure Okay, that's a half a cup of sour cream. We're going to put that in. Okay. Now to stiffen up the corn bread because Jiffy cornbread is very light and fluffy. I want to add some cornmeal. So let me get that and I'll be right back. 
Okay, I have my cornmeal. Okay. So let's go with a half a cup of this. Any brand of cornmeal will do. Need a little more to make a half a cup. Okay. That's my half a cup of cornmeal. I'm going to put that in. Now because I added the cornmeal, I have to add some something to make it rise. So let's go with the baking powder. Baking powder. And I'm looking for my teaspoon measure. Okay, I have my teaspoon measure. I'm just going to level that off. So I added a teaspoon of baking powder because there's already some baking powder in the corn, Jiffy Corn Muffin mix. So I just needed a little to compensate for the cornmeal that I put in. And remember the sour cream is also, also going to help it rise. Okay, so now I have evaporated milk. Okay. I'm doing a half a cup of evaporated milk. Half a cup. And now I have to do some olive oil. You always need some oil or butter or margarine when you're dealing with anything like bread. Okay. I don't think I want to do the whole thing. No, I don't think so. I think I want to do a fourth of a cup of oil and then I want to look at that. Okay, let me mix that up. Okay, so let me let you see that. You see it's, it's flowing pretty fast, right? So I think we're, we're good. Because remember we got to add the cranberries, which is soaking in water, which means it's going to have a little fluid coming along with it, right? Okay, so the other balance of the oil, so I put one fourth cup of oil in the um, corn bread mix with that's going to be cranberry corn bread and the other portion of the one of the one half is going to go in this pan okay and then I'm just going to make sure that all the bottoms and the sides is covered with the olive oil. Okay, I'll be right back. I gotta wash my hands and then I'm gonna drain the water off the cranberries. Yeah, they're they're soft enough. <laughs> 
we, you don't want a mush, but you do want it where when you feel it, it feels gentle to the hand. Okay, so I'm going to pour that water off and drain it, and then I'll come back with you and put the cranberries inside the cornbread. Okay, one second. Okay, so I drained the cranberries out into the strainer. Now we're going to put it in the cornbread. Just like that. Okay, and the last thing I want to add is some honey. We're going to add about three tablespoons of honey. One, two, three. Okay. I didn't pour the honey onto the onto a spoon because it would stick to the spoon. Okay. All right, now we're just going to put it in in the pan. Let me show you that. Okay, so we're going to bake this in the oven on 350. Normally you can cook cornbread on 400. But because I have the cranberries in it, the, the sour cream, I want to treat it like it's a cake. That's my hope that it actually tastes like a cake. Okay? Alright, so I'm thinking that this is going to cook for about maybe 20 minutes, 25 minutes, somewhere around there. And I'll be back then, okay? Thank you. Okay, guys. Our cranberry cornbread is out. Let me let you take a look at that. Look at that, guys. Huh? How about that? Now, I really would like for you to try this because if you like cranberries and you like cornbread, it's a great combination. Okay, so I'm just going to cut me a piece so that you can see what it looks like. I got to get something to get that out. One second. Okay, guys, I found it. I should have waited, as you can see the smoke coming off of it, I should have waited a few minutes, but I'm dying to try it, and I'm hungry. The two combinations together is spells rush. Okay, I'm putting some um, smart margarine on it. Oh boy, I can't wait. I think I even want some on the, t on the top. Just go all in. Why not? You know, these would be good like with a muffin. If you make it into a muffin. What do you think? 
Okay, let me let you see me taste it. Okay, guys. I dug out the cranberries that um, was on the side. Look at those cranberries. You see that? Oh, my God. Now, let's taste. Oh. It's nice and flaky. It does taste like a cake. For real. Wow, who'd have knew? Guys, look at those cranberries. Mmm. Okay, so I just showed you. Something else that you can do with cranberries. Wow. There we go. Who do know? Mmm. Tastes so good. Every time I bite down into one of the cranberries, so you get that burst of uh, sweetness. And then the cornbread is like a crunch because of the meal. Too good. Too, too good. I'm going to give that one an A+. Okay. All right. Talk to you soon. Love you. Bye-bye.